Well, I guess it doesn't sound much like the Boston Pops, does it? It's not. It's Pete Kelly's Big Seven. The name of the tune is Sugar. This is a 1927 hi-fi. We've just completed a movie here at Warner Brothers. And it's called Pete Kelly's Blues. A lot of it plays right here in this ballroom. A lot more of it in a Kansas City speakeasy called Rudy's. Now, the story centers around a small jazz band in the Roaring Twenties. Come over here. This is our drum. I'll turn it on for you. That blinker set us back eight bucks. I use this all the way through the picture. As you can see, it's not a Smith & Wesson. It's a Boston three-star cornet. I don't know if much comes out of here, but a lot of practice went in. Come on over here. These belong to Ivy. She's the girl in the picture. I guess you can't exactly call her the down-to-earth type. These are her work clothes. This is a mean-looking thing, isn't it? I guess you could call it a sort of a pistol cannon used by gangsters in the 1920s. You don't see many of these around anymore. Down at our speakeasy, you get one free with every purchase over a dollar. Hey, come on back. This is a Cinemascope camera. The man behind it is one of Hollywood's finest cameramen, Hal Rossen. He photographed Pete Kelly's blues. We think he did a good job. Here's how some of the people look. Janet Lee. You'll see her wearing those funny-looking clothes of the 20s. A nice loose fit with no lines. This is Edmund O'Brien. When a man's mean, they say, you'd hate to meet him alone in a dark alley at night. In this picture, you'd hate to run into Eddie at Easter Sunrise Services. This is his girlfriend, Rose Hopkins. Peggy Lee does the part. She sings, of course, but she does a lot more. And one night, something happens to her at Rudy's. They call it the Little Death. You'll see Ella Fitzgerald as Maggie Jackson. She plays a part, too. The only thing else she does is sing. Most people think that's enough. This is Lee Marvin. He plays Al Ganaway, clarinetist in the band. Andy Devine's in it, too. Yeah, Jingles hung up his spurs long enough to do a tour of duty in Kansas City. Andy plays a different kind of part. I really don't know how to describe it. I guess you could say he plays Joe Friday. You'll hear a lot of music in Pete Kelly's blues, played by some of the country's finest jazz men. There's Matty Matlock, and Dick Cathcart, Nick Fatool, Eddie Miller, just to name a few. And you'll hear some fine New Orleans men, too. We shot part of the picture down there. We call this a 10K bulb. There's enough in here to light up an entire apartment house. 10,000 watts. You need a lot of these for color and cinemascope. We used 50 of them just to light the trailer that you're looking at now. Well, I'm on my way over to look at this reel of film. I sure hope you'll come and see it. A lot of unexpected things happen in this picture. See what I mean? <laughs> 